Because there's a sneeze coming, and I well, don't know if I'll take it over. <laughs> we are going to leave Sharks, of course, uh, in due place, and we are going to rely on the abilities and the capabilities of our casters. Take it away, boys. I'm your host. Who are they? Oh, you're a host. That's why you got that analysis wrong about Emma versus Axel. Whoa! Uh, yeah, because actually, we're gonna definitely going to see a good hell? Axel today. You think so? And uh, I think Emma is still on the side of a milk carton. Mm, so well, I don't know like if a, he's going to be found. You sound like a Cloud9 picker, Launders. I'm not <laughs> going to lie. I actually have them both. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> 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 Let's see what we get tonight. Bless you, Shocks. I'm, uh, I'm just with Moses on this one, I think. Uh, no, that's fair, great. Fair to question either of them. I'll say that. I'll yeah, well, say that. Of the two, he's the one who's not the analyst. Exile, ready in the apps. But JL, maybe Nobby Ooh. can do it without Eman. Maybe JL and Wonderful are going to kind of pick up all that slack and run away with it. Because to kick it all off, right, JL had that insane, insane first 40 map. frags in, uh, My in its CSGO regulation. Call it. MR12 overtime or CSGO regulation, okay? <laughs> 40 frags in a 16-13 scoreline. That's definitely not, you know, going to confuse all the new viewers we have at the first CS2 major. <laughs> I like to gatekeep my game, too. The problem for Emma is... That what's weird is that they're using him again in this weird, like, lurking role. But him finding a way into the rounds has been difficult. Ooh, wonderful with a little pirouette out from window. There's the activation on the flank. Good distraction for Wonderful to help out on Cat's side. Man advantage, Navi. Wonderful just keeps going. He's going to try to keep Boomich stuck back bench. Second T crossing towards Market. The bomb is down Van right now. Boomich is backing up onto possession of the bomb, and he just confirmed them both. Now he's going to take it to them. He's going to try to charge him down. Oh, and wonderful. Yes, all wonderful in this one. Wonderful's also been great. Um, yeah, like, just so impressive. I mean, all the hard kills. I feel like he could actually rifle and still be, like, a straight-up star. Doesn't need the op at all. I think there's even more, like, he can open up as an opper, as a rifler. I feel like he doesn't have any of the same problems. And, like, it's just super clutch about his positioning. Very consistent. Uh, floor and uh, yeah, really enjoy watching him play. That was a lot of guys jumping out of one window. Like a SWAT team or an OK Go music video. It gives the old MP5 a slap. This old thing. Great versus unarmored opponents, which uh, could have been the case. But a uh, fantastic flashbang that also serves as Navi's trigger to just go flooding into the A site. As fast as Cloud9 jumped out the window, Navi crawl up Khan. Locked in jungle control, bomb planted for it. See if that MP5 can make a little money. Give it another love tap. Again, good flash. Alexi still chews through one despite not seeing him. And now Wonderful in with the AK. Gonna keep their concerns at bay. <laughs> it just feels like they, they got like an unlucky prize at the carnival. Yeah. <laughs> like all flash. You're a winner! <laughs> it was just like super colorful MP5 that looks like it's held by clowns. That was the prize in the back of the B apps. But they always bring tons of tactics. That's my favorite part about Cloud9 for sure. So many tactics jam-packed into a game. Always very mobile with it. So many flash retakes. Very good retakes in the first place. Is the tactics the number one reason that you believed in Cloud9 to make top eight? It is. It's the tactics, the retakes specifically, and um, the re-emergence of Axile. Because okay. if it, for me, it was the case. Like... People are seeing Axile now. I was noticing Axile in the last stage, which is why I picked Cloud9 to make it through now, because I was doubting Cloud9 in the last stage. And I think palpably, he has gotten better in his anchor spots. His stats are starting to get better. He's starting to have more of those big moments. And I'm actually starting to believe that he is going to come. This guy is 21 years old and has been top five player twice. 21 years old. And yeah, you never know how long people have been being in top five or two years is already an incredible thing. But that also means there's tons of time to figure it out. And he's on a brand new team, brand new motivation. And I think he's showing that he's taking this opportunity. Brand new game too, right? Yeah. We were kind of chalking up maybe some of his shortcomings to trying to get into this iteration of Counter-Strike. It was a talk we had before CS2 hit the streets. Who would we see fall off? If 
felt inevitable that one name, at the very least, would fall into that pit of despair and irrelevancy. Nice late lurk from Emet top middle. 2v2 retake. As Dobby looks to hang on, JL. Oh, he oh. had a chance there. Wait, the bomb. It's planted on this side, if I remember correctly. No smoke, so... Molotov's yeah. huge, but oh that goodness. ticket peak is big. I don't think that they can... I think you can still stick this. Oh, oh there's no kit. Or... Nope. No kit for this. It's going to have to be that 10-second stick. The cover's good. Timing? I don't know. I have no clue. Oh my god, he's got Whoa, it. Whoa, okay. Oh my god, he's got it. And that was calculating the HP that was coming down when he ran into the Molotov. Holy hell. The counter molly, the dink early on, and actually just enough time to pull off that defuse. Don't do that to me. Wow. <laughs> I thought, I really just I thought no they mind. had to save. I, I thought they had to save. Well calculated. Yeah, like by the bar, it looked like you couldn't get the 10 seconds. I mean, really thought they had a kit there for a second somewhere, but no. Dude, if the retakes are miraculous, man. Yeah, like, that's Their retakes okay. are miraculous. That's fair. Yeah, if we're going to talk tactics for Cloud9. They are the best retaking team in Tier 1 right now. Whoa. They literally can do it better than anybody else. So maybe Vitality can keep up with them. Fight for Electronic that does early damage. Navi not looking to lose that lead. Electronic and Axile off Catwalk. Good for two and man advantage. And a stifling of Navi's top mid hit. Bit to start creeping out. He's got room to work with. Boomich, though, unleashed from top stairs. Comes through with one. JL not going to let his teammate die for free. Him and Wonderful trying to piece together a 2v4, one kill deep already. Rick's boost from Perfecto is a good angle. Even if they were to go lower mid. JL hunting it. Yeah, caught off by the position. Oh, and the fact he gets the second. Wow, yeah, what he said. Energy. Yeah, they're pretty hyped about this one. Of course, there's, uh, there's history between the orgs. I mean, going up against Na'Vi, right? And, uh, of course, we've also got Spirit here in this stage. Who had the pleasure, I think, of playing against both, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, even winning that best of three yesterday versus Na'Vi. Kind of setting up this matchups. Na'Vi taking a map off them, though. And, and Spirit would be the best team at retaking in Tier 1 if they ever lost a site. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice of them to leave something for the others. Yeah. You know, there's no denying that Cloud9 are at the top of the list right now for that. And it does also speak to the fact that AEs are hella weak right now. Mm -hmm. Vitality are not as strong as they should be. G2 are looking sketchy. Yeah, there is no second best team behind Spirit at the moment. This, this tournament will sort of decide like where we feel about all of Tier 1, I think, at the end. All doors open for Maus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, the event started okay. again. As, in terms of the betting odd favorites, Spirit number one, base and Vitality behind them, followed by Virtus Pro, in fact. So we've definitely had a little shuffle in the rankings. I, I bet those odds are not the same anymore. Axile, easy does it. He was waiting for something to come at him, trying to pepper the apartment's wood panel. Rifle works looking good, and notably, one of the few players who remains on the M4A4. Yes, him and Flamesy, two of the best players today. Is that correlation or causation? <laughs> or coincidence? The thing is, though, if you buy the, M the A4, like, you're not always going to get it. You know what I mean? So there's not always going to be someone around that can drop it for you. If somebody doesn't have both M4 equipped after years of asking for that feature, I say we shun them from our community. Yeah, because why do you have the FAMAS equipped when the MP9 exists? Unless you're French. There's no need. Yeah, fine. Yeah, that's true. And true. Whoa, what is that technique? <laughs> it's because these water bottles, the cap doesn't come fully I kinda off. I kind of love that, by yeah. the way. But I mean, you know, a more... Uh, They've been doing that all over the place. Lots yeah. of countries. I think the, the smoothest tactic is to use your index finger to hold the lid up 
and then put your pinky out and kind of get it going. Electronics mm -hmm. doing the two-hand waza waza. I just dump it on my head and the attack pause. Get back into the game. Boomich on the op. Honestly, a welcome sight nowadays. We've had some really good maps from him at the Major. We've had great maps from Hobbit on the op yeah. at the Major. But uh, Boomich well, also one, coming out and One saying, thing Matthew brought up was that when we get the Ancient and uh -huh. it's like Perfecto and Hobbit on the op, I'm way, way less expecting them to have consistently good days. Okay. Hobbit had a good map, of course, but like it's well, not, not consistently good opera. Even Boomich but Boomich is more consistent. In an interview and saying like he doesn't think himself that he will be his most consistent if he continues to play with op. Even if he yeah. does have good maps, you know, he's he's a critic of himself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not, yeah. Exile. You can't, can't be a pro if you're not going to be realistic. Oh, Molotov towards bench, but they are definitely crawling up Con through smoke into jungle. And Timing. there's no rustling of the leaves because it's quiet, it's silent, and it's flawless. Ooh, that time is Navi, brutal. Navi, four kills, no response. That could not have gone any better. Yeah, yeah. I want to say that's... I would I would just feel for Electronic who was sitting there waiting, but he also went to go check on uh, Palace of his own volition. But uh, a lot came down to that first kill, because instead of uh, refragging him on stairs, who was waiting on that side of the smoke, it was going to kill Window with a second player. But either way, very creepy here from Navi as they sneak up in through the connector smoke and dismantle the entire setup with a, not a single death. Those are the kinds of flawless rounds you love if you're Navi. And you know what? That's one of those creepy, crawly, weirdo T rounds that I think Alexi B has been having a field day calling. That's true. You know, we go back to the G2 nuke game for Navi. You and I were sat here puzzled. Very puzzled. Because that you could never tell what was about to happen. He did so well when it came to masking the yes. intentions of Navi and not just the intentions in terms of destination, but also just the speed. You never knew when the, like, he just, like an operator. An operator. Like like the Wizard of Oz. You know when the Wizard of Oz, the, the curtain gun. pulls back and he's got all his his doohickeys, levers, buttons, mm -hmm. horns, and whiz -wazes. I think that was kind of blade on tack pauses too. A little bit of both. Yeah. A but little bit yeah, of both. He, he was, um... It was very hard to read the map. It's like Willy Wonka <laughs> with and info. the Wizard of Oz com coming together. That's like a lot of good movies already. But this is real life, and he's doing it in real life. Mm -hmm. Shout out Gene Wilder one time. The Wizard of Finland. Uh, There's something I love that... Cloud and I do is, is doubling up on Khan very often. Obviously, last round playing near it didn't work out, but they're really good at layering a position without getting in each other's way, I think is something that's key. Really content to press into ramp right now. Hanging on to a nice collection of smokes and Navi. This is important for keeping oh an eye boy. on the shadow. They are walking into the Cloud9 setup. But who wins? You know, because they can be prepared to swing. And so, so much comes down to Hobbit. Oh, well, they're not even flashing a ramp. No, they're flashing over it. And so this flash will do nothing to the forward setup. Hobbit, way too easy. On his own. Now the MP9 fires off, that's two CTs confirmed. Wonderful, he's gonna fall for this hook, line, and sinker. Unless Hobbit peeks into the angle. Uh-oh. Ah. Oh, no op. What the? All right, they decide to pull back themselves, deciding, yeah, enough's enough. He's got to reach for it. That was weird. Very strange. Hands back on the pool noodle. Wonderful. Oh, they don't feel like they've got enough of an opening to justify the follow-through, huh? They kind of gave it all away with the flash going, um, uh, with the lamp flash, because... They could see that they, literally they had no idea it was going to be any kind of ramp setup or ready to run up into the site and hope to catch someone. Blind on ticket, push the out back or something like that. What the hell? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what was going on right there? Is this going to be a weird like torture situation? <laughs> I'm trying to push him into the fire. I think there's like an MP9 stuck beneath his feet or something. Yeah. Stopping your teammates from getting better guns.
chapter seven. Well, what are we reading books now? I thought we were playing CS, baby. I love how all the notes are in like 0. 0.7 font. No cheating on Blades exams. No, no, no. I love to picture them in this moment, just running through like a a plays script, a screenplay, perhaps. Yeah, you know. The door creaked open. <laughs> Alexi B, with a furrowed brow, looked over to Ema and asked, "Is today your day?" You gotta say it in his voice, though. Bro, is today your day? <laughs> And that's a question that we are all still asking ourselves because honestly, the shortcomings have been real. Not across his entire time in Navi. We were just starting to celebrate his return. But to have a bad event at a major is gut wrenching. Alexi B gonna be upset with only being able to get the one. High pressure thanks to the Molotov. So the util here from Cloud9 has been keeping Navi on their toes as it does towards apartments too. Navi finally given a chance to just slip through middle. Wonderful head on a swivel. If he can get up catwalk right now, if this fight's his for the taking, it'd be big. Oh, oh but he gets by. Does and, he and walk now into got this, this anyways? Ema. Oh my god. Ships in the night. Wow. Wait, is it gonna be? Oh, oh my god. Perfect! <gasps> Ema turns it on a dime! Woo! Four players dead at once with TopCon once again. Nice spray there from Ema. That was massive. It starts off with Wonderful on short, who also could have caught a timing. Holy smokes. There, uh, there's, How are they getting into these situations? I have no idea. You cannot convince me that there are <laughs> rounds of Counter-Strike that are more magic. like a horror game than anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, put yourself in cloud nine shoes right there. That went from zero to 100 in half a second. You didn't know Emo was there. You didn't know Wonderful was up. And, uh, and then even the push on B-Apps, it's just... And uh, imagine how frantic your comms are when you're trying to... Oh, you got up And it's, it's just over. Yeah. You don't even have a chance to gurgle. You're just done. Two of the fastest rounds from first kill to last. Okay. Those four. And look at the reward for it. You know, this is what I mean. Like, the, it's so hard to get your finger on the pulse of Navi at the moment. Something G2 couldn't do. Hell, they took a map off Spirit for the second time in 2024. One of the few teams who can have that accolade. And it was off the tack again. Now versus Pistols. They're going to make sure that nothing goes wrong. Perfecto with a Zeus. We'll hold the murder hole, please, not Ema. He wouldn't go through. This is what it's like living in a semi-detached. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Ema moving slightly. Don't do it, buddy. You know, now that the jungle player there, it's like, come on, bro, I'll trade you. There is literally zero chance someone comes through this hole right now. Yeah. Perfecto knows it too. And so mm. down he goes. Nicely held on to here, Navi. That's a 5 4 T side lead. Yeah, two critical rounds that are just like. Listen, I'll say there's a, a bit of sort of like timing that was created for Navi, and they might have orchestrated it too. But the way they capitalize on every kill after that mm -hmm. is pretty insane. Also capitalizing on this hot start from Wonderful. 11 frags deep already. Mm -hmm. And Wonderful, no stranger to playoffs at a major. Yeah, and when he did play his one quarter game, he was awesome. for his second outing in top eight. And honestly, a winnable game against Cloud9, <laughs> but they won't just sit around and let you have your way every single time. Nice active moment here from C9 to go and take top middle, netting them the double entry. And the bomb. Hold on. Ah, we got it. it. 
He gets that second kill. That's going to be it's false confidence. Two weeks ago, though, that's the, that's the kill Axel doesn't get. No, no, no. He's coming. He's, he's not going to let his guard down. Fit is going to connect. Oh, 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 oh. And suddenly, your double man advantage has disappeared. Ime out of bottom middle is tearing them up. He is having a round. He is having a map on for his ninth frag. As Perfecto is between the two remaining members, if that road towards Connector is open for the bomb... Oh, he wishes that grate was broken open. He could defend Connector, but he can't. Has to double back. Doesn't want to announce himself, but he makes sound dropping over. T start to run. He doesn't press out far enough. They'll use that flash. No smoke for the cover. And Perfecto's not going to let them get too far. Molotov, they know he's running at them. e -Math trying to cover, dropped. He's done his job, <laughs> and Bit's going to seal the deal with three on the round. Okay. Navi, back to winning That's ways. crazy they got back into that. 5v3 at the top of mid. Beautiful round out of Ima from below. And um, I've got personal criticism for sure for him in the lurking role, but I think here's a good round uh, where he shows what he can do. And also, Bit, his stats as major haven't been great. Unfortunately, this hasn't really been a major of lurkers. I think if you look at players like like Rops, you mentioned, as somebody who's lagging behind, there aren't too many other players who are championing that role, making it look extremely good right now. And, uh, well, there's room for one. There's room for one, that's for sure. And there's a lot of public criticism for Imma as well. I'd just like to say that, just, to, just on a performance level. And uh, it can be hard to withstand all that pressure. You know, you're playing for Navi, one of the biggest brands in Counter-Strike, if not the biggest brand in Counter-Strike. You're going to have a lot of fans, and therefore you're going to have a lot of expectations. And playing on, on Game Religion, he's just not exposed to any of that. So it's one thing to try to play well under duress, even in Tier 2, but then to do it for Navi is a whole other level of difficult. So credit to him for playing well today. This certainly matters most. You know, we will not talk about Ima's shortcomings if he powers up and Navi end up with a solid result. You know, he is presenting a counter argument so far in this first map of the best of three for top eight. Bit already deep inside of B, already guaranteeing that Navi's seventh T round win is there for the taking. Now, this is Navi's map pick, but it's not, uh, there's not really a punish in this series. What do you reckon is the least played map in this stage? Like it was, I don't think it's not Inferno anymore because we're seeing anymore. Inferno a lot now. Yeah. The major. It's over... actually been pretty great. Like the Inferno maps have actually been super fun to watch. Yeah, I gotta they say. Have been. Yeah. I thought it was done with Inferno, but no. I was so over it. I was so ready to write it off. It's been actually cash, pretty good. Cash. Yeah. Cash. Hmm. Actually, train first, cash second. Mm -hmm. Santorini third. Ronin, fourth. Nice boys, keep it up. Good shit. Wait, great assessment. Finish positivity. Yep. Man, he's dead on. It is good. It's been good across the board. They've recovered three versus fives. Well, singular. They have silently surprised Cloud9 in a couple of rounds, too. Ones that felt like Cloud9 had a grasp. They thought they did, and they didn't realize that they were about to get pounced on. So, again, it is a great example of Navi and Alexi B's calling being difficult to hold on to, right? Very squirrely T-sides. Bit keeping up the pressure towards B. Entirely spread out offense, however, met by Smoke, too. You know, we saw that top middle push come out from Cloud9, net them a 5v3. You'd think, in their minds, confident, this play could work a second time. Just have to push it over the line. But if they give more time for the underpass players to come at this mid setup, suddenly C9's two mid members could certainly get pinched, so they'll try to make the action happen on their own accord. Good timing from Electronic. They're Opens just so up happy Axile. to walk into that. Yeah, so fixated now on underpass. It's a good call out. They could have been, been an off in that situation. Was looking for it. Ime on high alert. Bit. Oh, 
shy away from this. He's going to turn it back towards Cat. Oh, and then Wonderful comes out from top mid to help. Mm. Just when C9 had the confidence that they were in control of mid, it is bit and wonderful to bring it back. Hobbit in the pocket of the stairs. 25 to the clock with Bob on his feet. He knows where they're at. And then suddenly bit in with a second, trying to chase down Hobbit, who just runs the burden bearer of Cloud9. Oh, interesting. He's playing this very passive. Smoke on the cross. Ooh, Bit can plant the bomb right in front of triple. Oh. Spam comes down. So much damage, but 24, he's alive. And he's back. Oh. But not all the way. God, that got so messy. Hobbit makes sure that three kills go his way, and C9 won't lose this one. Oh, Another where one where they had the opening kills, and it almost comes back. Bit playing it from them. there is kind of weird, though. Planning opposite triple, has a fresh smoke to connect two stairs, and decides to play where he can actually defend the bomb from. Also, and risk dying choosing exposing back. himself to yeah, new cars. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. It's this, this, this play is funny because again, they could have had like in a default where Cloud and I know they're just walking into a default. They're calling out the fact that Wonderful is never sitting here. So that's a gap that they found. But the half is over. Lots of crazy rounds. Very cool ones from Nobby, especially ones where they get one thread of yarn and, and take out the whole ball. And some good setups from Cloud9 to get the 5v3s out the gate. But more answers back from Na'Vi with underpass plays. I think that was the key thing. And that's something they should have been making sure to molly when they're doing their top mid aggression and not letting somebody to refrag two frags just on alert. But now that we go into the second half, it's an interesting spot. And still very much anyone's game. got the Molotov in case that becomes the full-fledged. And he didn't use it. It's because Alexi's not sweating. A few Glock shots. Meh. Plus, they're hella expensive. Very slow burn of a pistol round here. Cloud9 not wanting to let this one get out of their control. And with a smoke flash for Boomich. What's he setting up? Smoke comes out. They attack before it plumes. So getting ahead of the utility. Flash is never a part of this until Bit eats it. And they want that connector fight. So it's all about getting close stairs. Then the late activation. <laughs> Ooh, no. The they both jump out looking backwards. <laughs> Spinning like a top bottom mid. Hobbit just can't hang on to it. Too much to handle. Alexi throws away the incendiary. Bit's starting to push forward out from jungle. He's got support behind him and in front on stairs. These T's are doing a good job of keeping their heads down. Axile starts to strike. Bit's now got cover. Yo. A second kill coming out from him. Perfecto on the backside can just hold on. He's got them crunched. Mm. Wonderful walking into the middle of the crossfire. Cloud9 took their sweet time, but it all works out in the end. It does, yeah. That, that um, top con smoke into the exact keep, and it's simple. Just finding their timing. And most importantly, finding their kills. Getting into a post plant, I think you have a lot of faith in Cloud9 just because, again, that's where the strongest. Taking back a bomb site or holding on to one. Just overall, you can really see how much they've talked about every detail of the game as a team, trying to make up for their follies, and that's not having an opera. Um, they've, they've supplanted that with just like pristine teamwork. Of course. I mean, it's a fair strategy. If you're going to take up this mantle and this challenge of not having that primary op, well, you better be spending your time doing something else. And there's no doubt in my mind that the players that Cloud9 have are not trying their absolute damnedest. Mm -hmm. With a guy like Groove behind him, who has risen to the top of coaching alongside that young Gambit roster. And and also just cured whatever sort of motivational ailment that Axiles Abs Abs had. Yeah. Because I would never say that chemistry is the reason that he can't play well, especially when his CT and T spots are usually solo. You know, that doesn't, that never added up sure. to me. He's got the space that he needs. It's so. on him. Yeah, it, it always looked like a motivation type of issue. It's conjecture, but can't really see. 
see what else it could be. This one's gonna get made into its meat. Desert Eagle finds nothing. B site. Oh, hold on now. Ah, sit down. <laughs> Exile's not gonna skip a beat nor a step. Yeah. And that is an easy one. And you also Cloud9. said it like it's a new game, you know. I think that it can be very fair to be like, ah, I really loved CSGO or I just love my team in CSGO. I just want to like hold on to that memory forever. But you got a new game. Too bad. You got a new team and you got a, you know, great players around you. You got like the support of a great org. You have lots of opportunities and more than anything else, you're at the major. You're qualified to the next stage. Like if you can't find motivation here, you don't have it anymore. You don't Hang have a love the for the game. So yeah. it makes sense that he is ramping up just in time for this, looking like his old self a bit more. It is a sight for sore eyes. And even with the performance he's put forth thus far at the Major, there are still critics that question his ability to remain consistent. And you know what? If they don't get out of the stage fair enough, because they're a team that should be in playoffs. Yep. I mean, I had never seen as much hype for a roster coming together than when this Cloud9 project was announced. Yeah. And there was a question around the in-game leadership. Boomage gets picked up. That same time, Shiro departs, and you think, oh, it's all a waste. They could have just stayed on Navi. Yeah, right, right. But no, they're making something of it. First CS2 major and contesting for top eight. Oh, or not. That nade for Hobbit. Could have been way worse. He'll get on top of bench, make sure there's no pressure from Catwalk, and there isn't in this case. Ima is getting overstressed in this position uh, with Connector being open. And the CTs are not watching Connector with him, so a lot just comes down to his timing. But this is what they want to do, split his attention between Window and Topcon. Now it's just about do they find the gap? Do they get him looking in the right direction? Damn, oh, he does. nope, he's caught Window. Exile, double kill back, was looking flat for a second, trying to get the Vomis off the corner. Alexi B, it's just the one. More cat pressure from JL. Desperate to spam through with the remnants of Perfecto's HP. 20 points of health inside of jungle, and then Boomich on the bomb plant, but a struggling Boomich, I must add. Four kills in this map, ready to oh swing on God. contact. Perfecto dead, oh! <laughs> Hell of a time to get his fit. Boomish makes sure that that lead doesn't slip away. But even though it looked like JL could figure that out, they put themselves in the best spot possible to swing and trade. They literally agreed to something very quickly. Just had to have faith. Yeah. So what we saw right there was like the most classical default into pressuring the one weakest point on the map. It's not that Emma's weak, but it's that that position is so open. And that's where you put star riflers at the top of jungle. But when they fall back into that spot and they don't have the extra rifle support, connector is not smoked at all. That's when they have to look between window and jungle. And they're the only one on the map not in the perimeter. They're the one that's most exposed. So their kills can mean the most. And he did get his one. And they actually did do a decent job of stopping at least one or two players coming in. But the trades from Cloud9 were just a bit better. It's left Navi in a pretty bad spot. Scout in hand for wonderful. Pistols sprinkled around. Woo. Tries the snapshot, but no chance. Once this connector smoke fades, they're going to find out that that bomb site's so free for the taking. It would have to take something spectacular from Bit to throw a wrench in the works. Uh, you can't stop them from crossing jungle into the bomb site, so this is Navi. Unfortunately for them, wrong position, working with the little that they have. These are two rosters that have so much in common in terms of what they've learned about the game and how they approach it, um, and how methodical they are on T sides. Just a good example in this head-to-head -head of some tactical counter-strike. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, top-level gameplay from, like, this region overall is just so satisfying to watch in terms of, like, all the small details that come together on the map. And yeah. Whether that's, of course, in the retakes of Cloud9 that have been planned ahead of time or Alexi B's near unreadable rounds. Or even, you know, like 2020 Gambit or 2020 VP or like 2022 VP, I guess you should say. Um, 
there's just so many yeah there's just so much talent obviously on display from the uh leaders to the riflers and now in 2024 let's throw donk into the mix right exactly you want another spirit. flavor of counter-strike yeah for sure chew on this Yeah, and that's Chopper, who's always been the little brother of the region, playing and beating lineups like Cloud9 and Navi is massive for him and his resume and I think his confidence. And a resume that earned him offerings, right? He's come out in an interview recently saying, like, I've had shots to join big teams, but I always thought I could build something special. Here he is on the dawn of CS2's playoffs. Bit down beneath it. Trying to keep himself up and ready for the fight, but damn, this utility pressure is immense. And so he gets burned out, forced forward, smoke pot wide open, and shots out of JL that just aren't on the mark. No CT Deep. control in a 4v5. Ticket goes the way of the T. They're so too slow. Yeah, they can't they can't even go for it. Man, that was such a sudden pop that it catches Navi out of position. It really had to be bit. And that, if that nade had gone a little deeper, maybe it opens up a door. Now nah, they decided to save. Scares Cloud9 a little at least. In this one, it is all C9. Goddamn. They're every bit as good as Navi here on T side. I mean. I keep getting messed up when I look at the numbers at the top of the screen because the logos are the alternate colors of the score and their sides. Mm. Mm -hmm. Terrorists win. I'd like to I didn't notice that. I'd like to hope there's at least one guy sat in his room right now going, oh, we, we, we do. True, true, yeah. Maybe that's just me. Navi not the only person in struggle in here. It's a very sort of high-level Mirage game in terms of the T-sides coming in. Very hard to call against. Where has the defense gone, though, Mo? Such a great display of, of map control, I think, we've seen from both teams. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if, if Navi want to way back into this game, I think they need to have more pressure in mid. Duncan Zontix levels of pressure in mid. And of course, Cloud9 maybe sensing a weakness within what was a very easy to topple A site. They're going right back into the full exec. At least this time they'll maintain CT control, barring bit dying, but ahead of the smokes. Emac got a challenge on bench. He's got a pocket to play from behind. Flash is coming through to help. Mm. Wonderful second kill out of him. There's the chase from Hobbit <laughs> and the coverage out of JL. How did he save him? This is a total stoppage. How that did... is what they needed in terms of defense. Everybody dies here for Cloud9. Yeah. Axile has to run for the hills. That's sweet. I mean, you get the A-Site attack down to two choke points, you don't have to deal with the connector split, then at least you're on to something better. You have two fast rotations, and you have CT control. What was missing last round? They didn't have anyone in CT, and they didn't have any control of mid either, so... It ends up catching up to Cloud9. I think it was valid for them to try again, why not? But um, that's Emma finding a really nice place to stand in between. You gotta be careful now with the mollies and smokes. I mean, people are gonna be using it against you constantly. Um, but this is also a matter of that smoke coming in late, one jungle smoke missing. Yeah. True, true. Slightly off the mark, slightly off the timing. Nice, nice boys! Guys, let's wake up to the fucking... Alexi B with a nice boys. And he's not wrong, that was a convincing A defense. Proving that you don't need that under balk if the jungle peak is strong. there's an opera on the line. Don't see anything just yet. But we do have wonderful lurking beneath, moving his ways over to Cat. It is interesting how little this game has had to do with Cat, actually. We had early days Counter-Strike uh, LCS Go, if you remember that game. There's a lot to do with connector splits, almost exclusively into almost everything to do with con uh, Cat control. You go back to Navi and how they approach it in their prime. In this game, it's looking more classical. Keeping it simple. Mid control at a maximum. A split every time. Oh, but Here's the same thing dressed up differently. Yeah. CT is just looking for any information. It's activation is, time for Hobbit. This was the A setup, but that didn't wonderful work. still on cat, right? 
Bit's gonna go down with nothing. JL over the top of the stairs. There's pressure on the one player bounce, but that doesn't stop Emit from surviving. Down into the site, JL gives cover. A bit of a resurgence from Cloud9, 20 seconds on the clock, and a smoke to try and get beyond from Jungle. That's yeah, actually a decent situation here for the T's as they get the bomb down. No one coming in from Jungle or Connector. How do they 2v2? Man, can Will this op work? Boomich has it. He's backing up to Tetris. Wonderful. Looking for a time maybe to be able to jump up. Starts to post over top of the ticket. Wonderful. Glancing around and, oh, he saw that. Would have seen the barrel, I suppose. Oh, oh yeah. There it is. Keeps it honed in on target and Boomich crawls back, but it's all for naught. They were a little scared right there. They didn't think um, they could push into a ramp, so they were watching both things. Boomich obviously flailing that scope around, gave Wonderful his last idea of the round, what I need to hold on to, and the rest was done with that rifle 1v1. With one comes two. This is two moments of A site defense <laughs> that Emet puts up. Yeah. Right? Now JL saves him perhaps by softening up Hobbit ah! while he's in the Molotov Still so he can't situation chase over. To get one for sure. Yep. In the fire, chooses his target, and just gets out of the flames with enough HP to hold on. So Ooh, the buy? Yeah. I guess they have Boomich, Hobbit with enough money. Perfecto and Axel can Galil. Email 100% offering a defense to be proud of inside this A site. And an improvement from maps prior at this major. The only thing missing in this half so far from Cloud9, and honestly with Navi as well, is just variants. Like there's not much to do with B site at all. Or cat, like Again, you said. Again, they're not trying cat. They're not trying cat splits. They're just leaving it off the table. They have an aversion to that site for some reason. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Talk about catwalk. Here we go. JL. Only one. And there's more where the others come from. Wonderful tries to oh, rotate. Missing timings. Missing timings. Chance for Alexi B, but no sir. Axile oh. in the pocket between the two. Turns it on Wonderful. He's got And he's more. going deeper all the way through market. He will challenge and fall for it. Ima has recovered somewhat, but what's the chance that they go for this no, retake? No, they're... The, uh, the bomb's halfway ticked, and they're just actually still worried about dying. Man. So many small timings missed. JL, of course, is set up in a spot where he could have gotten two on the hold, but, I mean, you should expect to trade at the same time. They're coming in with one idea, and they want it to be fast. They finally do pull up on the cat split. It's a successful execution. If Wonderful had held on to the window cross for an extra moment, there would have been a kill there. If, I think, before dropping that smoke down, if it was played a little bit more differently, there might have been an interesting option Terrorists win. for, I believe, Alexi anchoring, but... It's an explosive call at a big boom. And one that banks on Axile again performs performing well at the major. Yeah, like moments like that are renewing faith, definitely. Final timeout called here for Navi. There's no telling how Boomich wants to complete this tapestry of a T-side that has been relatively successful even though stopped twice recently. A new solution emerges. They have also been um, timid when it comes to underpass plays. Been taken over mid control largely by the top of mid. But a change of direction and a change of pace certainly catch the defense off. JL nearly enough to maybe fall back, but. See what the response is. Oh, this ball. Oh, yeah. That messes all the internal timings, but at least the oh, top my God. contains them. no one top mid. Crazy. Oh, this would be scary. They're gonna walk up into this. This is nuts. I mean, they're not gonna hold any. You don't normally see this kind of play. 
But uh, JL, let's see, is he gonna get cleared? He's getting ahead of it, Electronic's gonna tuck in. Uh, JL will kill him in a second, surely. Here's those Molotovs to catwalk. He doesn't want to peek it. It's going to indicate the position, though. JL will clip Hobbit on the connector push. Nothing going well here for the tease. Perfecto comes out from balcony. That's the only thing that ends up working out for C9. Trying to get into some complicated positioning, and instead it is Navi to just pull you apart at the seams. I mean, they got an underpass unspotted, so I think they got the position that they wanted to. But uh, no, they weren't. Navi were not scared of it at all. This ramp push as well should be, could have been, the nail in the coffin. Twenty seconds to finish off the save. Smoker need to make them a little nervous. Perfecto just wants to cut the losses and hang on. Gets two kills this round, right? One on the hunt and that one frag that opens up. Yeah, but they get yeah, they do get stuffed at every choke point. I mean, there's a CT watching the run through the entire time. Emma has been sharp at getting his on the site. It's a one round game with the AK saved and every single time. And it's so fucking Maybe a few dollars here for Navi. But they weren't aware of JL even getting up into uh, into ladder room. And he played that cool, you know, not not forcing the fight through the vents into the window, but just finding the timing on catching Hobbit climbing up connector. Now we have some limitations for Cloud9 as they're going to continue. Wonderful lands at this time. Oh, oh. my god, but look who's there first. <laughs> That's what you wanted? That's what you signed oh, up for. Ooh, nice one back. And Alexi's not going to let this one go down for free. And do we have a new opper? And we'll find out. At the very least, that's one of the Mac 10s thrown away into the AK, goes Axile. And forward on Catwalk here, goes here he the is. B defense. Alexi B, the White Death, coming forward with his op. Here to make Finland proud. He'll put JL up first. This is going to be that cat pressure again. Let's see if he can contain it. He's got Ema to try and help him from Windows soon. Oh, oh instant on the entry. God. Oh, and Ema can't peek. The flash is full efficacy. Alexi, still alive. Oh, he's got two. Gets that scope right back up. Now a chance to hold cross, but Ema actually just gives it over. A matter of timing that allows for Hobbit to just go in for that bomb pant. Cloud9 in the 2v2 to try and take this 12th. And a smoke back by Cat makes Bit's job hard, but that also opens the door. He can now slide into the pillar for cover. He spotted the back of Hobbit, who shoots towards Mark and takes the head off Emet. And with half health, hunts Bit, who slowly encroaches a fast move from Hobbit on lesser health. And he hears him hunting around this bomb site. Bit just covering the bomb in smoke, looking for maybe an off angle bomb. It's ticking fast. Oh. Bit doesn't have a kit. He concedes this. Hobbit dodging the fight and Cloud9 up catwalk. They get past the Lexi for their 12. Wow. Well, how the Tark known for their aggression. That's a nice one in the 1v1 from Hobbit, just being very elusive. He put on the ring for a second. Disappears back site. Bit could sense him, couldn't see him. I can't believe Alexi got two frags here. Jumping back, that's ridiculous Holy with the scope. Hell. And that's an argument why you should never no scope, by the way. Look how fast that quick scope is. You save no time. Can always afford to right click. Cloud9 with two map points. Crazy round to win right there. Ferantic and shout out Boomich, right? Always good while having a bad game for a late game impactful frag. Sure, sure, yeah. And so his eighth of the map is to topple the Bricks player, push that pressure onto Alexi. Then it is wonderful back in with an off. Not instantly killed this time, but he does lose lower mid support. Ooh, but axe out from far away. Galil spray. JL's gonna follow up. Ooh, how much does he press? Because there's That's an entire pack. Yeah, it's still. It's yeah. The An entire is, unit of Cloud9 players in position, waiting oh, for man. exactly that. Axile two clean kills with this Galil. He covers his tracks. He's gonna watch the back door. He's a lurker. He knows. That's an opportunity now for for Cloud9. 
game was back on after wonderful shot. Hey, he's still in the mix. Wonderful and bit side by side on catwalk. It's form in question this major, not someone that you'd expect. They may very well need him. Not the best spot sometimes to stop a full on hit, depending on the utility coming in. Oh, they stay on it though. Yeah. Navi, they've got the right idea. They're staying fixated on the window. Bit is at least wonderful. It's a quick snap over with the announcement of the presence off the volley. Bit, great chance into the cover. Mm. Both the defenders posting a kill. And then still Boomich with a chance to challenge. 10 to the clock. He needs support. His teammate is here with him. Can he get this ball yes, down? Yes, he can. He just got over, but wonderful. Shoots the hands off Electronic. I said he's good for the late game impact. Galil shots downrange and a reposition through the smoke as Alexi fades it on the market window. Okay. There it is. Navi, they'll take that Ooh. 11. All right, we go 24 rounds, baby. Nice one there from Wonderful and Bit. Kill a piece. Covered perfectly on the site. And I think that, you know, Navi, I think they were suspicious that it was going to be, be a B hit, but oh, there's yeah. so many rounds that have been late full A's that they thought, all right, let's just chill for a second. We do have an op on this side of the map, and if you really do believe it's going to be a B hit, like most of the time you want to have one person in a committed position um, to make sure you don't have to retake, you know, a site that can be extremely excruciating to do so. So I think we are just solving a small issue in the game and we'll be back in in a second for round 24. I think Navi were a little more cautious about the potential for the cat hit. We've seen a couple of rounds in the last few where cat becomes a key component of the B entry. Mm -hmm. you know, but luckily, wonderful. Once he saw those Molotovs, just honed in on the window. Yeah, man, he is super reliable. I, I, I would say almost every, you know, position in the game. I think it's so hard to replace something like simple, especially since you just get a completely different opera, like in terms of in play style. And uh, he has just worked in perfectly. So is JL. I mean, Somebody who the stats did not even favor him when he was on Apex. If you're watching the major, you can see the quality of play with the entries. But uh, that was a risk definitely for Navi to just say, okay, well, JL of all players who sort of were some of the new stories and that ended up being a perfect fit too. Oh my God. It's 11-0 for pain in the second map of the series. <clears throat> Assuming Heroic have won the first map. Fain, oh my God. Pain won the first This map. is news to us. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> We're locked into the Navi Cloud9 Echo. How, Purdue, Fain, Sebastian, how are you going to drop that wait, on us, wait, man? Wait. <laughs> but uh, it's a 1-2. It's a 2-1 game, right? They still have another chance? No, man. It's a 1-2 game. Yeah, brother. Oh, my God. I'm supposed to process that and now cast round 24? That's crazy. What the hell? All right. Watch the second shot. Just the hands. Yeah, just the hands, just man. Just the fingertips. <laughs> Into the tack pause. All right. Okay. Cloud9 going to talk sorted. things over. Actually, actually, they're broke. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting wound up. <laughs> oh. They are broke. They are broke, man. They have to do some crunching here to figure out where they can. I mean, it's going to be a Galil's at best. We're going to have Mac 10s. Oh, not a single rifle. Boof. Not a single rifle well, to defend against overtime. Well, what, that is what you love to see. What could that mean? That makes for the most exciting round ever. Huh? Now, I'm not going to say that this is over, all right? Could that mean something fast? Something action packed? Well, it does mean that, you know, mid control is probably out of the question. Full B pop might be too obvious. Ooh, that A -sight's There's all kinds light. of games of rock, paper, scissors. A site's light. Yeah, A site's a little light. And if they go fast enough, it is Ema here to support at the very least. We've got Bit pressed against Palace. It might not be hard. It might not be easy, excuse me, for Navi to calculate the money exactly. Comes down to Bit in this hold, right in the mix. He'll be inside smokes on this exec. Ooh, wonderful's moving over in time. That's ticket to be preoccupied before the exec comes over. And with that one volley of util, they have got to go. Molotov on Bit, first shot landed. That's exactly what they needed out of Wonderful. Bit's gonna hold his ground top palace. Nothing looking good until Axile enters the feed. Hobbit over stairs, but the
the lesser weapon betrays him. Boomich will make the SMG work. Two on three. They've got forward positioning. Oh, and another kill. Uh oh. They've even this one back out in a minute. Can they get off of the bomb site? They have yes, sir. Into jungle, both go. And they are not going to cross back. You know that now. Lexi saw one go. But if they don't hear that bomb getting planted, he's going to get nervous about the lurk. CT player in wonderful repositions. They've got both options covered. But what do you do? I mean, this feels like Cloud9 have been corralled. You cannot now get out of this murder hole. This angle is locked off. They find the right option, actually. They, f they do find the right option. It's scarier for them to go back, but Alexei, he thinks that they may have spotted this. They didn't. Oh my god, they are figuring this out. But now they have eyes on ticket. Axile about to walk into the scope. Boop. Just a little jiggle. Doesn't fire. Wonderful. Oh. We'll clip Axile oh. and finish off. Okay. That is what they need for OT. Ooh. A three-piece from Wonderful kicks it off with the off. Bit serves up this great distraction. And even despite Boomich's best efforts with his beloved SMGs. In, you can see, in moments like that, he is so careful. You know, Wonderful is so reliable in moments like that. Extremely tense. You're going up against a Tech-9 that's, you know, 245 movement speed. The shoulder peaks are just happening every moment. It's freaking Axile, you know, like, you make one mistake, you are dead, and this round is lost. But um, he, he knew that at around 20 seconds, they don't have the option to even go through the murder hole to B, and they were both confirmed spotted. So it's Alexi B's info to alley -oop Wonderful into that 2K. And bring Navi into overtime. Let's go. Navi been playing some grueling matches. OT. After OT. Boomich was one second late. A lot went into this tactic to try to get someone to fight mid. Ouch. It's a big chance for Boomich. Scoped up. Oh, misses his shot. And every time Boomich misses an op shot, it almost feels like there's that much more criticism on it. That's okay. They haven't used it that much. Fair. But that's why when it does get pulled out and it had a chance at an opening kill, yeah. like now you've got to recover with the second chance, right? Oh. There we go. That's better. That's Boomich. Oh. And also, Perfecto's going to press out from ramp on his own. That's a rare chance. Now, Emma is holding this hard line from underpass, and the flash could come out in the front of Tetris. There's no one actually staged to do it. He feels it. They fire off back and forth. There's Presence. Perfect positioning out of bit. That's too spotted. But at the same time, they're going to get up this catwalk angle. Wonderful has tucked in back sight. I think they might know that there's only one B. But there's also no support. And now, a player gets the default. Wonderful oh. sees it. Just in time, getting vision of those that encroach closer. Oh, it is fast. And Electronic can bomb plant for Cat, but Alexi's right there to challenge. And they've got one locked in to get right. He dies out to bit. And with that, it all falls on Electronic. Tagged to 19 health. Bit has revealed himself. And Electronic holds on an off angle as the Cat player has yet to come all the way up. Electronic is getting squeezed off sight, oh. and as he goes in versus Ema, he will fall. Whew. Solid timing on the A site peak from Ema. Bit is there to help him, and it's the same duo from A to get the job done in OT. Yeah, you, you gotta wonder what the plan was for like Perfecto to get space. What did they want out of that? They want him to get a kill by himself and then hit the A site because they were still up on Cat, you know? Now, Ema at the beginning of the round starts this off, makes this whole lot easier as well. His first kill as he pushes out a connector. And they just keep material up the entire way through. So as much as Cloud9 are fighting back and getting it closer, Navi still have full control of the round and wonderful 25 and 13. And dude, it, it is the op diff. Like even if Boomich can get one kill back, like you see a player like wonderful, how much value they can add with their consistent op presence. Yep, yep, he had a chance. Oh, the pressure from the flashbangs. If he gets out alive, I feel like you take that. But Electronic is hot on the heels of the cat fallback. Oh, and he's going to catch JL, oh, not ready. Man. And he knows that the CT play player fell back into What gone. a weasel, huh? Slipping up behind the connector player, getting that perfect timing. Yeah, that's what Navi were all about, so. Electronic's got that killer instinct, and now we go back into the cat pack. And this is the thing. If they fade back into vanilla spots, they know that Imma is playing in jungle. And Electronic's gonna try yeah, he's twice. literally Look following this. up on this. Wow. 
And even though Ima has the chance to fire back, it's Electronic to get the second of the round. 3v5 to try and bring it back, but no, too much to ask of Bit. Wonderful on A, we'll find that lurk from Electronic. Alexi back on bench. Oh. Dies empty handed. Boomich is going to best him with the AK. And now poor Wonderful seemingly canceled out. Up close? No. <laughs> Not quite there. Perfecto hides behind the cash register and banks one for Cloud9. A great answer back here in the second round of overtime. The CS has just been so fantastic. Can I just say, like, this entire major, it's just been so good. I just love Counter-Strike. Yeah, and, you know, we're in CS2 now. It's just been amazing. I, I really have been such... We've all been just coming in early, watching games mm -hmm. that we're not even casting. It's just been a blast. Shout out PGL for a great green room atmosphere yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. One of the best ever for sure. It's making it very fun to just hang out and play CS and even HLTV staff on site, the photographers, all the team support staff. We've got good viewing sections. And uh, well, another heater to follow up versus complexity, vitality, and wonderful does not stop. Trying to send a second shot through boxes. Perfecto, good answer. While I could sit here and say the hotel vibes are great, we're missing one, the best ingredient. The, Alcohol? The crowd. <laughs> the crowd, right. The fans. The heart of this community. The, the t-shirt cannons? Can, we can hear beating louder. It's coming. We're getting closer. We've got teams locking in playoffs. We've got dreams crushed as well in the 1-2 games going on. Look how expensive this one was for Na'Vi. Cloud9 coming in. We take a quick glance at uh, what's what's here to stop it. Oh, it's an MP9 close range. I mean, it's an MP9, but it is in the best spot possible. And in capable hands. Yes. And uh, JL, well, he's got to cover him. Let's see, the walk-up comes through. Oh. MP9 tears through one, running out of ammo. Oh, he's stuck against the wall. The Hobbit's going to make sure that he doesn't get out of there. Then the second smoke goes up, and Alexi doesn't take his gamble chance. He wants that rotate towards Ticket, but now they know about him, right? He's been burning, and Hobbit is honed in on the bench peak, so there's no option. Oh! There was cover a second late. Ten seconds left. Alexi has an MP9. He can push in if he can find the kill. If he dropped it there, who knows what happened. Oh, 1v2! The spam! He has to be traded now! He's reloading the MP9! No and time! there is no time to plan! Hobbit's gotta get the kill! Oh, he can't get it! The round's over. Navi win a second. That had to be chased down. An MP9 spam through triple. Since when can that penetrate boxes? I don't know. I don't know. And for that much damage. Alexi B. Devilish play from the staircase. And after already Cloud9 had fought tooth and nail to get into this site, Bit was a nuisance. The wonderful peak oh off ticket. God. But Alexi finds the headshot and then just perfectly keeps himself in cover. Oh, I should have been Look ready. Look at that smile on a blade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Grinning ear to ear because Alexi <laughs> posts another unbelievable round win for Navi. You know, the only reason you lose there is not covering. I mean, obviously, how you, you why do you need to cover an MP9 spamming through triple? But being ready to peek in that situation would have been everything for Hobbit. And now Navi up around. And he finds the weak point in the middle of the boxes. And this gets a whole, whole lot more interesting. Back to CT side we go. And to be honest, I, I really think uh, Cloud9 were, were tricked, absolutely. But also had some rounds that were a little inexplicable. Like I wouldn't be surprised if they've covered those gaps. Maybe Navi can find some new ones. Bit on a timing up the ramp. They can't hang out for here forever. No. Had a lot of space just now for the taking. But oh, what whoa, the? Whoa. Electronic. Chill, bro. Okay. Put on ice. JL going to give him a second to think about that decision to there, jump there into the sandwich. There was some kind of bad communication, right? Because it was one lurk out the ramp. They fell back. That should have been understood. Well, especially because you know you're then on a silver platter to any palace peekers, and that's not smoked. Yeah, I mean, you just never go top stairs in a, a situation where there's, like, ramp pressure potentially or anything, so... Well, there's pressure, all right. Navi trying to hang on to this one-round lead. Exile. Hobbit, 
doing his damnedest to claw it back. We get the peek from Catwalk, and Axile is now tucked into ladder room. It's expensive in terms of health, and Alexio will be low. Oh, they're changing the setup. Wonderful. Careful what you wow, ask for by. Cloud 9. Careful. That was a nice uh, piece of positioning out of Wonderful, but that smoke just a little too big, a little too plump. But with that rotation, right, B site is weaker. They've, they've lost the ladder player. I think they heard him drop into the site. It's another one where... And Boomage. Yep. That's where the microscope falls. Boomage delivers. And I think he just saw the bomb as well. Drop smoke back site. Jumps dumpster. Keeps himself on an off angle and is met by Molly's smokes ahead of it. So this opens up the door perfectly for the window peak. It's a challenge out of Axile, but it's now a gun back in Bit's hands. Oh! He slams back both! And Boomich, who just had two teammates, is now in sight on his own. <laughs> Hobbit is nowhere to be found, and sure enough, Wonderful gets that line in. Bit gets his gun back out, and it's lethal. Well, how is this retake half getting started, and Hobbit's still over on Connector? That is all about Bit, baby. A full swing on that defusing player, and okay, they could have stopped it. Boomich got his first kill, but that full defensive mode with no one actually close enough to help out, sort of meant that Na'Vi could take over the site. They could get to bench, they could get into all the spots that they wanted to, and they had a pretty safe plan. But here's the first mistake from Cloud9, and here's just a beautiful punish out of bit, man. And that smoke just big enough for the market window players to jump out, but also just big enough to guarantee bit cover to get the gun out. It ends up playing into both teams' hands, and he just hits the sharper shots. So Navi lock in double OT. A very fun back and forth between these teams with top eight on the line. And some high-level mirage. 100%, yeah. This isn't just head bashing. Both teams at times head scratching. Hobbit with what could be an unexpected angle. And JL loves to take a little peek into this, right? If JL's preparing for sandwich, I think Hobbit hits this headshot. Oh, he gives it up. Felt like he was onto something. Smoke from top middle that pops in jungle. Doesn't matter if he gives up his first angle. Hobbit still hits the instant kill. Boomich to be tested. Oh, we he does one. snap. But Wonderful is right there to trade it. So both oppers taking one down. But Wonderful continues forward here in the fifth round of OT. Axile concerned about a connector play. That's not the case. Electronic. It's a close corner position to catch Bit off. And then he goes deeper. It falls onto Ime. 1v3. Catches the player jungle first. This would be a hell of a time for him to shine. To just push Navi over the line. And he dodges the ticket play, but Axile smoke spam keeps Cloud9 yeah, in it. Yeah, that's one electronic in front of the Molly. They had no idea he could be there. Not a ticket damage. And found a spot to stand in. Two frags to hold it. Boomich fell for the peak, <laughs> which is falling for it because he's hitting the harder shot, but he hits it. Keeping that situation even was everything for Cloud9, who, well, they can't afford to lose any more rounds, of course. They need one more just to go to another overtime. Fast jump out mid. There's a challenge behind that smoke. It's wonderful scouring the battlefield. Oh, sees the window player. Electronic is close enough to pounce. Does what is he get that flash through? Yeah, they have to. He comes right in. Both players blind! Oh, oh but Wonderful long. turns it! Beautiful cover out of Wonderful. It took way too long to finish that first frag. Was dead anyways, if not. That's and what now. you love to see. High pressure shots from oh, the Opper. He's got, Axile, on both he's got sides. the gap, but he doesn't have anything oh, more than the one. Oh, oh, that shot. Wonderful is just racking them up. 32 kills deep. Crazy. Top tier opping coming out of Navi, gunning for his return to top eight on a major stage. But it's still just the first map action packed, of course. Hobbit shaves one off from Palace, gives himself a smoke to play. Boomich does the same on the other end. 
And it's a dangerous position here for Navi. Fake plant once. Navi goes in. Gets caught out by Bit. And Ime has slain the next. So Perfecto has to go massive. And as he comes out from jungle, wonderful on a swivel. Will not miss. Plus 30 frags from the young Opper to give Navi map one. Yeah, what's that? 33 unreal stuff out of Navi. That was definitely an Opper and such a close game. Amazing T-side rounds from both teams that had to end in overtime, and there was no telling who was going to come out ahead.